Alright, so I thought I'd do something a bit different in this video and I thought I would talk about my personal lucid dreaming experiences and a few times where I've made mistakes because although I teach you guys lucid dreaming, by no means am I an expert and you know, there's always more to learn, like you can never learn everything about lucid dreaming. It's like a constant continuous process where you learn from things and then try new things and so on. So, so one of the first ones that springs to mind is a time when I was experimenting with like pushing the boundaries, the physical boundaries of the lucid dream in terms of like what you can physically do. So obviously in waking life you can't walk through walls whereas in a dream you can, up to a point. And so one of the most interesting dreams I've had or you know the most annoying or scare, not scary as such, one of the most annoying lucid dreams I've had is where I was playing around with shifting through surfaces, like so walking through walls or you know sinking into the floor or whatever it is and I remember that I was in this dream I was walking along the street and you know I became lucid did a reality check to sort of ground the whole thing and uh, reinforce my lucidity I think it was a finger palm push because that's always a really effective check for me that always seems to work you know reliably and so I walked up to this wall and it was a brick wall it was one of those red brick walls which looked like it had been recently made it was quite crisp if that makes sense if you can if, can you get a crisp wall uh, I don't know anyway and so I put my hand against it as, you know, what I normally do when I shift through walls is I put a hand or a foot against the wall, gently push and expect my hand to go through. When it does, then I put my arm and, and whole body and head and so forth. The head is always the last thing to go through. Um, and then your whole body is through and then you have to escape the wall on the other side. Um, and so what I did is I put my hand against this wall, I pushed gently and it went through and my arm went through the wall. But then what happened is I, I got stuck. And I think the reason that I did get stuck and I didn't just go all the way through the wall is because in a split second, a very quick thought came into my mind, which was, hold on, I shouldn't be doing this. You know, this, this doesn't feel right. Humans shouldn't be able to do this. And so it's always coming back to this theme of what is possible in what is possible in your waking life. And that sort of dictates to a certain degree what you can achieve in a lucid dream, because you're constantly battling with your own ideas of what you should be able to do, of what is possible for you and for humans as, as a whole. So if you const if you have the, the strong belief, and it is a strong belief for most of us, right, that you can't pass through a wall, or that you can't fly, or teleport, or whatever it is, if you have these strong beliefs, and then you try and go against them in a lucid dream, so you try and actually do something that would push against that belief, quite literally in this sense, you know, you're pushing against the wall and trying to pass through it when everything, every atom of your being knows that you shouldn't be able to do that. You should push against the wall and it should resist your hand to some degree. Obviously if it's a, a wooden fence then it might wobble a bit or if it's a, a glass pane then it might sort of bend a little bit but for the most part when you push against something solid, the solid thing pushes back against you. Uh, or at least, you know, it feels like it's not just had to change camera battery. So usually when you press your hand against something solid, you have a very strong belief subconsciously and consciously that when you push against something, it will always push back. It will always give you that resistance, unless obviously you're pressing against something like a curtain, which obviously will bend and, and move around. So there's this belief, this subconscious belief that physical strong objects like a brick wall or a concrete post will always be hard to push against. And in order to move through them in a lucid dream, what I found is that you need to challenge your subconscious beliefs. So, I mean, to be honest, I, I know it sounds, it sounds a bit weird when I talk about this stuff because I'm talking about things that are hard to show you visually. Like I can't actually show you this stuff in waking life. I can't just hold my hand up and demonstrate this stuff. You know, this is, these are experiences that you can only really, like, you can only really practice what I'm telling you or experience what I'm telling you in the dreaming state. And for that reason, it's quite hard to explain things and show you things or demonstrate this stuff that I'm talking about. But try and just try and just imagine what I'm saying and imagine how it would feel. So instead of, and you know, like I said before, I got stuck in the wall, like I physically couldn't move and I had to wake myself up. Even though I was lucid, because my, my belief of that object came into play, I changed the dream and I was like, uh, it's almost like I was trapping myself. My mind was trapping itself because I had my conscious, dreaming, lucid uh, awareness, I guess you could say, me, me as the dreamer. I was in the wall, and I was consciously aware of the fact I was dreaming, I knew it was a dream, uh, I knew I should be able to control it, 
but my subconscious belief about you know about physical objects and objects permeance had come into play and was stopping me from moving through the wall um, and this the reason this happened is because for a split second during my like transition as I was as I was walking through the wall I got halfway and for a split second I had this belief just spring into my awareness of this shouldn't be able to happen you shouldn't be able to do this and that just that split second of doubt is just enough to completely change what you're experiencing it's the same if you're flying in a lucid dream I've had loads of dreams where I've been lucid I've been flying through the air okay you know maybe I'm flying around a, a building or just racing maybe I'm just having fun I have no idea but for whatever reason I'm flying through the air and for a split second I just have this tiny niggling doubt and this doubt is just saying you shouldn't be able to fly humans don't fly you know you, at some point you should be falling down towards the ground and rather annoyingly that is enough to make it happen and so undoubtedly what happens is I'll be flying through the air I'll have this niggling tiny tiny doubt just for a split second and that is enough to send me tumbling towards the ground and then obviously I wake up and I'm very angry at myself I guess for having ruined the dream really what's happening is just that that tiny second of doubt isn't being dealt with properly and I'll, I'll get onto this in another video but but yeah so those those two things I guess are the most annoying the most annoying experiences I've had in a lucid dream because I've been lucid I've been aware that it was a dream I've been very alert and you know ready to do things and ready to experience what I want to experience I've tried to do things like shifting through a wall or flying and a tiny split second of doubt has sprung up and that's just enough that's just enough to stop me in my tracks and freeze the dream and stop me doing what I'm doing anyway if you're watching this video firstly well done for getting this far into the video apparently according to my analytics only a certain percentage of people quite a small percentage reach the end of any given video this is the same across most YouTube channels so I'm told um, so yeah well done leave a comment if you have got this far leave a comment saying something funny that always seems to I kind of like it when people leave funny comments so leave a comment saying something like rolling pin or maybe just I don't know maybe tell a story in the comments reply to each reply to each other's comments with something funnier and insane so that nobody will know what what's going on in the comments section they'll just think something they'll just think everyone's gone insane and that's quite funny to me also if you are watching this video on a serious note please subscribe and uh, leave a leave a like and a comment make sure you click the notification bell which should be either this either here or here uh, just by the subscribe button this little bell that says give me notifications and obviously you you want that obviously because you're watching this far into the video you're still watching now even though all I'm really doing is just rambling and talking about nothing really so I, to be honest I can't believe you're still watching at this point I've told you the uh, the tip of the day and now I'm just doing the sort of the end scene where I ask you to do things like like and comment and everything like that. With topics, I'm never short of topic ideas, but if you would like me to cover anything in particular, leave a comment letting me know what, because once I've got through your, I think, 600 questions that I've got saved in an idea file, there are 600 and there's like 20 being added to it every single day, just based on like comments you send in and everything like that. Um, so once I filtered through them and like got rid of the duplicates and everything like that, uh, we're looking at a good few years at least of like daily video content so this is gonna be a long journey guys I'm not going anywhere this is gonna be a daily video as as close as I can get to daily unless I'm like really sick certainly for the next five years probably longer and I'd, I'd kind of like it to be sort of like a journey we go on together like there's a few people that have left comments saying that they remember when I had only 5,000 subscribers or you know 1,000 subscribers and that's really cool because it means you've watched me throughout my journey anyway so yeah let's just let's end let's end the video here that is my most annoying lucid dream experiences and a couple of little updates on you know the channel and everything like that so leave a comment let me know your story leave a like and i'll see you tomorrow